Hello guys. It's me again. Um look sorry for the nearly three month delay between the the video and this one. Um I've got a new job. So I now work fly in, fly out in uh Western Australia. So it's two weeks on, one week off. And in the one week that I've got off, I've been spending doing other things. Um, not so much filming, um, which I know some of you guys would be a bit annoyed about because you love watching me videos. So, we're doing a bit of an extravaganza today. And uh, we're getting the Magna Beach ready, hopefully. The plan is, is we've got to put some strut spaces in it. So we're going to take these struts out, weld some pipe or weld some something in there to lift them up. So we get a couple of inches of lift, as far as they'll go, I suppose, as far as we can drop them. Um, and then, I don't know what we're going to do in the back. We'll try and get the back up somehow, spaces, um, front rear, I suppose, because I haven't got any bigger, I haven't got any coil springs or anything to, to put in it to try and lift it up. Um, the Mercedes is still shit. Bought a 190E for 750 bucks. Quite possibly could be um, LS swapping that. Because the engine's not real healthy. Um, but that'll be on a later date. But yeah, so what we've got to do is, is we've got to unpull the uh, Magna. So that means we're making it plumb back into the radiator which is lying around and um, I've got some more I've got some transmission cooler lines it's on the other side of the car or is it on this side oh there it is so we've got some transmission cooler lines it's about hundred and thirty dollars worth brand new and we kind of need it because if we're taking this thing on the beach it's going to be working pretty hard and uh, it's actually going to need a trans cooler not not this. This is this is the trans cooler. Trans line in, trans line out, little loop. And and that bar there, that, that bit of steel pipe actually come out of there. So what we have to do is plumb the lines back into that. And uh she's happy days. Hopefully. Hopefully we've got enough. I hope we've got enough. Otherwise we're gonna be in for a real bad time. Anyway, on other news, yeah, I bought a shipping container. So, the log cabin's actually moving. Quite possibly going to Western Australia. So, videos will be less, I suppose, but I'll still try and keep videos updated on the Jeep because uh, that's coming with me to Western Australia. We've bought some new tail lights for the Jeep, actually. Look at that. Oh! Jeep's got new tail lights. Got a new front bumper for it. Um, slowly, slowly piecing it together, getting it ready to put it over the pits. And uh, yeah, happy days. Slowly working my way through. Um, I've undone the two struts, so we're gonna now jack her up, see how far they drop out. So we've come up with a feasible idea, which is actually better than the strut spaces. It's gonna be a lot easier because we don't have to bolt anything. We don't have to you know, drill or anything. So what we're doing is, is we're actually going to weld the bottom of our of our knuckle into the bottom of our strut. Obviously, stratacus. Try and do that, and then obviously that'll sit up in there. And we're just going to weld him in place. Just lay that weld in there, boy. She'll hold for as long as the car's lifetime, anyway. All we had to do was disconnect the sway bar, so now we've got ultimate drop. The uh, the CV is going to chew itself out a nice little groove, um, but obviously at, at full drop, the strut's going to stop it from going any further. So that should be right. Now all we got to do is just uh, clean all of our welding surfaces up, get the little boss weld, and just max it right out, and just. Yeah, put the heat into it. 
Um, and then, hopefully, do not heat or open. Do not heat or... Joke's on them. I can't read. So we're going to weld that in. She's going to be the duck's guts. Um, brake lines aren't really going to be an issue, which is pretty good because we've got these big long boys. So we just put, whip that clip out of there and then pull that brake line off and we'll have like a couple of inches of brake line each side. ABS is just long enough to, to cope, so don't need ABS anyway. The light will just come up on the dash. One thing we've got to make sure we do is either set the airbags off or disconnect them. We might just disconnect them or set them off. I don't know. We might just set them off. Tape like rocks and shit to the steering wheel and poof, let it go. Um, I mean, steering angles look good. CV angles are still pretty dandy. So, we've got the Safari Magna. The Safari Magna actually sounds pretty catchy. So, hopefully we're going to take it for a run tonight. Um, I'm going to put, I've got a couple of spotlights, so I'm just going to drill some holes in the roof and just mount those somehow. <laughs> Fucked if I know how. Um, yeah, we've still got to get it running too, so. We've just got to get the lift sorted while it's still daytime and we can run the coolant lines when it's night time. Peter Paddle, let's get out of here. Alright, so this is what we've decided. The welds look absolutely fucking atrocious, but we've got a couple of plug welds in there, a couple of welds going down the sides. We've gained, gained a couple of inches, as you can see, there's the old bolt holes down there. But now we've just got to cut this here off, off the top of the strut, because now the rim hits it, so because obviously the gap. But um, we've gained a couple inches, so the tire now sits this far away from the top of the um, the coil base. So we've just got to do the other side now, and uh, the Magnus Safari ready. There you go, that's where she sits. The wheels aren't too bad, they sort of camber, they camber out a bit, but... Um, I'm going to gain a little bit more height. Not a great deal. I mean, we only lifted up a couple of inches. Not even, I don't even think it was an inch or two. But, nonetheless, it's a bit higher in the front than the rear, as obviously as you can see. We're just going to have to conquer the rear soon and get the back end sorted out. But for the most part, I've got to clean the shed out, make room for that old dinosaur. All right. I'm just going to tinker my way through, put some of the plumbing back in, try and figure out how the hell I had that all sorted out, and uh, and then yeah, she'll be she'll be good. I've cut the front bumper bar, so we've got a better hour approach angle. She, she's going to be the the machine. We might end up taking the headlights out of it and putting an LED light, like just these work light things I've got in here somewhere, like that one there. Yep. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry it's been a while. Say bye.